I don't know if it's just me, but I kind of feel like this issue of the Y word, which I've spoken about a fair few times, I've made a few videos about it, it just seems to keep coming up year after year. And the other thing that I keep finding is it seems to happen always when we're playing someone like Chelsea or West Ham. Um, maybe Arsenal, but not so much, to be fair. Um, but it doesn't seem to come up like when you're playing um, Leicester or Southampton or, or Burnley, those sorts of teams. It's, it's always when there's a real issue between the two clubs, between the two sets of fans. And it may be partly due to the fact that West Ham are Jewish-owned, lots of Jewish supporters. Um, Chelsea, Jewish-owned, lots of, lots of Jewish supporters. Um, and so maybe they feel aggrieved about it, um, being Jewish themselves, like, like the fans or, or whatever. But what they're not offended by, or what they don't seem to, to cry out about, is the is the um the stuff that preempts it you know the um you know the gas chamber sounds or the you know spurs on the way to auschwitz or hitler's coming to get you all that kind of stuff that happens that happens from those teams um so it's quite it's quite interesting that that, that kind of comes up all the time you know um, <clears throat> and there are lots of mixed views about it, about the the Y word and the use by by Tottenham fans. Anyone outside the club, anyone outside the club is absolutely against it. You know, Tottenham fans shouldn't use it. They're making it worse. Blah blah blah, and all the rest of it. Um, it's our fault. It's our fault that that people um, call us names. It's our fault that. You know, Chelsea fans sing the songs that they did or do, and West Ham fans sing the songs that they do, and all that's all our fault, right? Because because we refer to ourselves in in that way. But actually, Tottenham fans um, are not mixed about it. I've spoken to many many fans, and like I said, I've done videos about this before, and and the the vast majority of Tottenham fans are for it including Jewish Tottenham fans, and a lot of Jewish Tottenham fans, who are absolutely um, adamant that, that we should keep that word and we should, we should um, you know, not be bullied out of it. So my stance, my stance has always been, if, um, if Tottenham's Jewish community, and I'm not talking about, you know, Gentiles or Muslims or agnostic or whatever you might be I'm not on about your view because your view is um, almost irrelevant to a certain extent it's about the Jewish fans view of at Tottenham not not West Ham's Jewish community or Chelsea's Jewish community or whatever it's about Tottenham's Jewish community because those are the guys that are um, really offended um, by some of the comments that, that, that Tottenham fans get. Those are the, the people that are hurt by it uh, the most. And so their opinion should be the, the, the should be paramount. You know, that's, that's my view, right? So if the Tottenham, Tottenham uh, Jewish fan community came together and said, let's stop it and let's see if that stops the, the comments from, from other clubs fans and so on then me personally i'd say fair enough you know i'd put me out and say no i won't sing it you know I'd, I, you know i'm happy to kind of um take their lead because for me it's it's important how they feel about it and i know you know people will quote history uh, and and those kind of that kind of stuff um, and we've always done it so we should be allowed to and, and all the rest of it I, you know i don't necessarily agree with that and that might be a bit controversial I don't know but you know I started singing it and started being aware of it as a kid um 
because of the hurt it was causing to to people stood around me in the ground and how upset and it had to be explained to me you know I mean bear in mind I, I didn't start going football until the late 70s and it was probably late 70s early 80s that this really kind of came more and more and more um, but there were some terrible songs being sung around those around those times um, didn't understand it because I was just a kid and uh and it, you know, bear in mind, it's you know not that not that you know what thirty years after after the, the war had ended, you know. So, I guess, I guess my view was, you know, at that time it was uh, it was hurtful uh, and all the rest of it, and and a lot of people felt upset by it. Do Tottenham fans still feel the same? Do do Jewish Tottenham fans still feel the same? about the abuse that they get because nowadays it's not necessarily just because you're Jewish that you get that kind of abuse you know you get that abuse through through Tottenham I mean I, I watched the Tottenham Chelsea game yesterday I watched it in a in a pub um, and the, the the other fans that, that weren't Tottenham fans and they weren't necessarily Chelsea fans um, but they were more than happy to, um, you know, shout out dirty fucking yids and and all that kind of stuff in that manner. Now, I'm sure in their minds that's just it's just it's just banter, it's just them bantering, you know, because it's Tottenham and all the rest of it, and um, and, and that's kind of where the problem lies, right? Is that you know you're you're kind of stuck with it for, from other fans who, who don't really understand the connotations. And me personally, I haven't got a problem with, you know, being called a Yid or, or whatever. Um, but then I'm not Jewish. So outside of football, you wouldn't want someone doing that. You certainly wouldn't want to abuse a Jewish person walking down the street. And I'm pretty sure most normal football fans from from whatever club would, would be the same they wouldn't necessarily walk up to a, a you know a jewish person and call them a dirty you know and all that uh, but because it's football they feel it they feel it's okay but the problem is it's just you know football is so tribal that you're you're always going to have an, an element of it you know like, you know there's been a lot of talk and i did a video not so long ago about about the term rent boy and, and, and all that. And, and then you've got West Ham, who, you know, referred to as the pikey boys and all the rest of it. Both, you know, um, not particularly good terms, you know, in, in that scenario. I mean, you wouldn't, you wouldn't go up to a, you know, a, you know, a, a traveller person and call them that. I mean, some people might, but, you know, they'd be stupid too. Um, you wouldn't do it. You wouldn't use that terminology. You know, you'd use a traveller or, or whatever. Um, so it is a it's a really difficult scenario, but it just feels like it's one of those recurring problems that's going to keep coming up, and keep coming up, and keep coming up. And and the fact is that the 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 problem with not having you know how it's meant and and the, and the context of how it's put across. It's really difficult, you know. There is a bigger problem of being called a dirty fucking yid than there is for um, groups of Tottenham fans, you know, say you know, you know, to to a player to show appreciation and and the the, the connection between the player and the fans. It's a big, big difference. It's a big, big difference. Um, and so I, you know, it really, it really bugs me how it kind of comes up so often it's just it's just a bit of an annoyance and uh, I'm not sure what the answer is to be honest with you because you know you are going to take you are trying to take the passion and the identity away from football fans and that's you know that's a difficult thing that's a difficult thing to do football fans are, are not likely to give it up very easily um, especially when it's coming back in from the other direction and as I say, you can't you can't blame Tottenham fans for the the comments that you get from you know from Chelsea you know Chelsea fans or West Ham fans or whoever you know. And listen, it's not just those because I you know I've had I've had it chanted at me you know many many times by fans of other clubs, um, but not necessarily 
not necessarily the viciousness of you know some of those um, terrible songs uh, of, of the of the sort of um, late eighties or eighties sort of nineties times, you know. Um, so yeah, I'd, you know, it's just it's just a really difficult one. It's just really it's a real annoyance that it gets singled out all the time you know this issue gets singled out all the time um and it's generally Tottenham fans that are getting it in the ear hole over it and and you know there are some you know some quite horrible things quoted to to um to fans you know that we kind of have to put up with so yeah, a bit of a a bit of a ramble, I guess, but it's the same old story because it just feels like it's coming up time and time again. It always seems to come up when we're playing Chelsea or West Ham, those kind of teams, um, and it's almost like they're using us as an excuse to 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 um, as to why their own supporters have the attitude and the and the um, behaviours that they do, you know. So yeah, I, you know, I don't know. I, I think I'm probably just I'm probably just rambling, I guess. But it's just struck me as I'm as I'm sitting here, you know, I'm reading some of this stuff. Uh, you know, the Crown Prosecution Service are going to prosecute people for for using the term and all the rest of it. It's all come back again, and you know, David Badil and and his cronies are all back out and and all that kind of stuff. And it's just regurgitating the same stuff all the time. And, you know, and for me, I think, you know, the only people that have the right to call an end um, to the use of the word is, is Tottenham's own Jewish community. And, and as I said, I don't think they're going to be prepared to um, to say, you know, let's stop it. All the while they're being abused um, in the way that they are, you know. And yeah, OK, that it's not meant in the way... That it comes across, but that's exactly the same thing as saying, well, we're not putting it across in a negative way either. So, you know, um, yeah, just some some food to food for thought yet again on the use of the Y word. We'll see what comes. But you know, be careful, don't get yourself in trouble. Up the Spurs. <laughs>